Hello, I'm Carla Crawford Kerr, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. The lines are becoming increasingly blurred between television and internet, and it looks like Blinks and MiniWeb just cleared that line altogether. Blinks, the world's largest video search engine, and MiniWeb, an interactive service provider, are joining forces to create a platform which will allow audiences to search for broadcast television and internet video from multiple sources on Blinks' video content using MiniWeb enabled broadband connected devices. Everybody wins with this platform. Viewers get to choose from 35 million hours of video content to watch on their televisions, and advertisers can target those viewers depending on which content they choose. The beauty of interactive advertising is that it often enables viewers to play an active role in the promotion. Briar's Ice Cream wants you to be an old-fashioned movie star with their newest interactive campaign featuring 30 rock star Jane Krakowski in parodies of Gone with the Wind and King Kong. The interactive part comes when consumers can upload a photo and download face mapping technology that enables them to insert themselves into the classic movie scenes. These personalized webisodes can then be emailed to friends or posted on social networking pages. A mosaic is the art of creating images with an assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stone, or other material. The art originated in 4th century BC in Rome, but I bet the Romans never would have guessed that we would be using online video to create mosaics. YouTube Mosaic is a new branded environment on the video site where advertisers must upload 25 or more images to have a mosaic image automatically generated simply by providing an image file. It's a great way to encourage consumers to view other mediums that relate to a particular brand. Who says radio was a dying breed? The new technology platform Q is bringing radio into the interactive world. Sandusky Seattle radio groups are the first that get to try this new technology. Now, when their listeners hear a song or an advertisement they like, they only need to send a text message to the station. In return, they receive the name of the song, an automated callback, a video of the ad, automatic entrance into a station promotion, or a chance to go live on air. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Carla Crawford-Kerr.